Spirituality is a huge part of our existence. We hold a physical body and a spiritual body. However, as we get older, we start focusing more on our daily encounters and the material things that we have. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that all the material things, including our physical body, will eventually vanish. But one thing that we'll keep living forever is our soul, which is why I always push the importance of staying connected to your spirit. If you want five simple ways to practice your spirituality, stay tuned. Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video. So unfortunately, right now we're living in very uncertain times and staying at home is one of the key factors to prevent the situation from getting worse. So what a better time than now to practice and expand your spirituality. I want to share with you five simple ways to do so while you're at home. So number one thing that I want to share with you is meditation. Meditation is one of the most common practice among people who are trying to expand their spirituality. Now, this practice is not defined by your religion, your race, or your belief. Literally anybody can meditate. Meditation has a lot of physical benefits, but it also has benefits when it comes to your mental health because it helps you disconnect and kind of get away from all the daily stress, your anxiety, your thoughts that are running you know, on and on in your head. And because of that, it also helps to connect to your spirit because whenever you disconnect from your daily stress and your daily thoughts, then you create kind of like a space in your head and in your body and in your soul for your spirit and your higher self to have a voice. That way you can actually hear and feel the peace that comes from your higher self, from spirit in general. Meditation is an easy practice, but you have to start slow. At least it was for me like that. Um, meditation, you can do it anywhere. It could be your room, it could be the closet, anywhere. I used to live, whenever I started practicing meditation, I used to be in a loud environment. So I would start in my closet. I would close the door and make sure nobody would bother me. And I would actually use either YouTube. There's a couple of apps on the iPhone, but I usually use YouTube. And it's a little rough in the beginning because if you're not used to it, you can get bored or some people even fall asleep. I wouldn't fall asleep, but I would get I would get very bored and I would actually I would feel like I would be counterproductive because then my mind would actually start, you know, thinking other things and I would ignore, you know, what I'm going through. So I would actually recommend to start with guided meditation and you can do like five minutes and once you actually notice that you're focusing on the five minutes, then do ten minutes, do fifteen, do twenty, then thirty up to an hour and if you want to do longer you can do that number two thing prayer so just like i said meditation is a time for you to listen to god and to the universe and to your higher self so prayer it's the time that you take to speak to the universe to speak to god and that's why i think it's, it's equal as important and you can practice um praying by it, it depends if you belong to a specific faith look in the, look into the prayers of your specific faith for example i can talk you know for myself because i'm catholic and i can look into prayer books or into the bible and i can do that now you don't always have to follow a specific text of prayer you can also just speak from the heart you don't have to follow that i just use it to for a specific situations or specific problems that i want to talk to you know talk to god about but Sometimes I do talk from my heart, but a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing that because they just feel silly. They feel like they're talking to themselves or sometimes they're scared to use the wrong wording or they feel like they're disrespecting, you know, God or anything like that. So they start off using um, prayers that are in prayer books or in the Bible and stuff like that. Um, if you don't belong to a specific faith, you can also practice um, speaking affirmations into the universe. That also works as well. Number three, journaling. So journaling to me has taken a very personal importance on my everyday life because when I journal, depending, because I have different journals, but like one of the things that I do, it's a way, the reason why I use journaling, it's to declutter my mind. If I feel a specific way, like negative, I will go ahead and write down my feelings in my journal. I have another journal where, where I collect and I record all my dreams that I have because I consider dreams to be a spiritual messages or symbolism so I will record that as well it helps me a lot for either or it's either to declutter my mind and you know kind of trash away my emotions but it will also help me to record anything that can later on guide me or help me Number four, self-care. So self-care, even though it sounds very mundane because you're taking care of your, you know, your physical body, 
it helps the spirit and this is how so whenever we like for example myself i go exercise and that's a physical thing of course but it helps me feel good physically which also helps my soul so when it comes to personal taking care of yourself it kind of just depends what you like to do you don't have to have you know you don't have to do exercise like i do um a lot of people take warm baths a lot of people just take long hot showers people go to the um, spa sometimes it just really depends on how you take care of yourself other people do art some people create music and that's the way they declutter um their mind and their physical body as well now a lot of people are like okay i can't exercise right now the gyms are closed but i have been actually working out that's not an excuse i've been working out from home um i just look up some videos on youtube and that actually helped me out a lot number five thing to do it's keep learning learning is very important when it comes to your spirit because it enriches your soul now obviously it depends on what you you're looking to learn myself i usually look into spiritual things i look into stories of the bible i like to read about mythology and different gods and stuff like that that's what i like to learn in that you know that feeds my spirituality to me now to other people it might be learning art that's also a way to do art it's very spiritual believe it or not um music same thing you can learn to play you can learn to sing or to you know to play an instrument it just depends what you like to do but all of that it's to expand and to learn and to enrich your soul as well all right guys those were my top five ways to connect to your spirituality while you're at home um, make sure you guys subscribe and like my video and i also want you guys to comment down below what you're doing to stay connected to your spirit while you're at home i want to try new things i'm open to it okay so let me know you guys have a good night Bye bye